Right, there's the ingredients then, very simple. 400 gram of beef. <clears throat> That's got 110 grams of the goldfish Chinese curry sauce. And you always treble it with boiling water. So it's 110 grams of curry sauce and 330 grams of boiled water. A cup of peas, what will be a cup of mushrooms and one onion. That's it. No salt, no pepper. That's already got that MSG or whatever it's called in it. So the flavour's all in there really. And diced lean beef. I'm not even going to do anything with that. I know you can velvet it. I know it's supposed to be cut sliced thinly, but I'm just lobbing it all in. All that is just going to be lobbed in. Okay, right, let's get on with this. Bloody starving, two o'clock in the morning. Friday night, Saturday morning, just got home from a night shift, couple of days off, so I'm gonna cook myself first time ever a Chinese beef curry. Yeah, I've cheated. First time, so you know. Right, four-ish tablespoons of oil. It's best in a wok, I haven't got a wok, you know, I'm totally blagging this, so whatever. Right, I'm just gonna mix up that curry paste or sauce, whatever you call it, I don't know. Like I said, I don't normally cut this sort of stuff up. Right, we'll have a go. I've had a lot of advice from my Facebook followers and friends, so thank you for that. But, <laughs> I've probably ignored most here. Uh, no disrespect, but I just want to get it the easiest way possible. You know. Okay, onion. Chunky. Chunky onion. Okay. Right, just fry that off for a couple of minutes. Yeah, I'm not going to go too silly with this onion because we still want a little bit of a crunch. I did put half a teaspoon of salt in it. I mean, it's a double portion as well, so I don't want to use too much other stuff because I want to really see what this curry taste is like. Everyone says it's the best. Well, some people say made flour, is it? But then other people said this goldfish, so I could get the goldfish. So I'm going to try that one first. Smells amazing, I'll be honest with you. Right, let's get this beef in. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a week. Oh, that's right, actually. Yes, I know I don't normally buy supermarket meat, but ugh, it's just easy. 400 gram, that looks a lot. I'm gonna have to complain about that. I don't know. That looks a bit more than 400 grams to me. Anyhow, we're just going to brown off the meat. Oh, it did make me laugh a minute ago. It's <laughs> browned off. I don't know if you've heard the saying I'm browned off, but the old man uses it all the time. I'm browned off. I don't know if it's a Midland thing, I don't know, but it basically means I'm bloody annoyed. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to brown off the meat. I'm going to make the meat angry. Right, I think that's enough. I don't want to go overboard with the meat just yet. What am I doing now? This is curry sauce, isn't it? Right. It's all whisked up. Still looks a little bit runny to me, but I've followed the instructions, so I'm just going to whap it in, as the bishop said. Oh, it smells! Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say it smells just like a Chinese curry, but it is a Chinese curry. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, hello. It's thickening up. Oh, look at this. Oh, hello. Right, just going to turn the heat down a bit. It's been on quite high. I'm going to 
Oh my god, that looks just like the Chinese curry you get from the Chinese. Oh, I've got to open a can of mushrooms now, so I'll probably come back bleeding. Well, I've got to say, I am impressed. I need to get these mushrooms in. I'm not putting the peas in until right at the end. But I'll just chuck them in. Look, drained it first. Again, easy. Mind you, little butter mushrooms. <laughs> Let's size that one. I suppose I could have sliced them in half. In fact, looking at how many I've got out of that massive tin, I wish I'd put two tins in there. No, they'll do. Yeah, really low heat now, geezers. So, you know, although I've never cooked this before, I can tell it needs a low heat now. Just to warm it through, really. It will still bubble. Oh, I'm quite happy with this for my first attempt. Yeah, happy days. I might put the lid on as well. Don't know why, just looks professional. Back in the ticker boo. Hmm. Yeah. Right, cover peas. Got me cheap rice going on in the microwave. Like I say, for me, it's all about simplicity. So, didn't velvet the beef, didn't cut the mushrooms. Microwave rice. And I'll tell you what, have a look, it's as good as anyone's. As good as anyone's. Hardly any ingredients. The only reason I use salt is to like get the onions going. Oh, so many innuendos. Look at this. Right, lid on for the final minute. Somehow, stop shaking. Right on. Right on, brother. That is done. Yep. Time to dish it out. There we have it. I'm well impressed with that, I've got to say. I've got to be honest though, if I did it again, I probably wouldn't do the onions so long. Because you need a bit of a crunch. But yeah, there you go. Chinese style beef curry by the Tattoo Curry Geezer, who specialises in Indian stuff. All right, let's have a, let's have a go. Now, I'm not gonna have a massive mouthful, no. It is identical. Seriously, it is exactly the same. Oh my God, I'm gonna love this. I found a new niche. Right, that's me out, geezers, because I'm off for some nosh. Ideal, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, subscribe, hit the bell, drop me a comment. Tattoo Curry, geezer. Out.